I'm Rick Buck and I've been a diamond consultant for over six years now. More and more people are choosing lab created diamonds over their natural counterparts. But what exactly is the difference between these two types of diamonds? Let's find out. In this video, we're going to compare these three synthetic lab created diamonds on the right and two natural earth created diamonds on the left. While lab diamonds and earth diamonds are chemically and visually mostly the same, they both have small differences that come from two different processes in which they form. And those in the lab are called chemical vapor or CVD and high pressure and high temperature or HPHT. Earth diamonds form over billions of years and lab diamonds form over days. Now in the process of forming, the sequence and direction that the elements disseminate or coalesce to form the diamond are different and cause small visual changes that we will go over for both the CVD, the HPHT, and the natural earth created diamonds. Here are the diamonds in the same order we saw earlier. You'll see an important difference between the earth created and lab created diamonds is their fluorescence. Fluorescence is the glow that some diamonds emit when exposed to ultraviolet light. Earth created diamonds can exhibit a range of fluorescence from none to strong, while lab created diamonds typically have no fluorescence to long wave UV light. The reason is the high pressure and high temperature conditions in the Earth's mantle that form natural diamonds can cause trace elements to become trapped in the diamond's crystal structure, differently than lab diamonds, leading to differences in fluorescence. Lab created diamonds, which are grown in a controlled environment, do not typically contain these trace elements in the same configuration or at all. And when lab diamonds do have fluorescence to long wave UV light, they will exhibit an erratic or distinct pattern. In contrast, earth created diamond fluorescence will not have a pattern at all. It will be a more uniform glow of fluorescence to them. Now, according to grading labs, most diamonds have no fluorescence. Actually, I have found that not to be so true and that fluorescence is one of the best indicators that you actually have a real diamond over a lab created diamond. And that is one way you can distinguish the two. Let's take a look at that closer second diamond and you can see it has light fluorescence to it. It definitely glows more than the lab diamonds that don't glow at all. You can see that it has its lab number inscribed on its side. And so we'll look at the corresponding lab report and it says its fluorescence should be none, meaning it shouldn't have any fluorescence, but it does still have a little bit of fluorescence. I just showed it to you. Before I get to the best part, make sure you watch all my videos on how to plan the perfect proposal. I have thousands of ideas and tips on things like how to plan and photograph the proposal so you have great memories. Also, if you want more money to spend on the engagement, I show you how to save hundreds to thousands on the ring and she will be impressed. Jewelers know that this is a one-time purchase you know nothing about, so take all my tips so you don't get ripped off and use the links below this video because those are the best places to buy rings and also help to save money on those rings so you can apply that to an amazing engagement. Under the correct lighting, with a single beam of focused UV light that is long wave, it has some fluorescence. So fluorescence is a big difference between lab and real diamonds, but it isn't a 100% rule because there are some real diamonds that have really no fluorescence. It's just that most of the time I found that they do actually exhibit some, and you will see the difference when you put the UV light on a lab diamond versus a real diamond. Infrared spectroscopy can also be used to determine the difference between a synthetic versus an earth created diamond. This is done more professionally with expensive equipment, but if you happen to turn it in, you would get one of these readouts from this test. And you can see this extra peak here that shows up on most natural diamonds due to the presence of nitrogen when forming. So you can tell the difference. Another big difference is the kind of impurities found in lab diamonds versus real earth diamonds. All diamonds, both 
synthetic and natural have microscopic impurities. Some lab diamonds have more recognizable impurities. Lab diamonds are created in two ways, chemical vapor called CVD and high pressure, high temperature called HPHT, as I explained to you earlier. Of our diamonds, the one on the far right is a CVD lab diamond. The other two are HPHT lab diamonds. The good thing is that HPHT diamond impurities are more recognizable under magnification because they will have a metallic flux trapped in them. However, the CVD diamonds will likely have a little bit of a brown tint to them more likely. CVD lab diamonds have something very obvious about them. Under certain lights, they have a slight tint of brown in them. You should watch all my videos on why buying diamonds online is better. One of them is that they use lighting that exposes flaws. So while looking at them online, these are two diamonds that we have been looking at from one of those websites. You can tell the CVD diamond has that brown tint to it, even though they technically have the same color grade of H. This brown tint makes CVD diamonds a lot less popular than they used to be. HPHT lab created diamonds have another quality that makes them distinguishable from natural diamonds because of the growth pattern and trace elements in the growth process of diamonds. You see, colored light will sometimes look different on HPHT synthetic diamonds. Now you gotta pay close attention. When I look at this little facet here, there's something weird and kinda segmented with the light coming off of this diamond. It's hard to see and difficult to find, but normally light changes would be more smooth without harsh lines or patterns if this were a natural or CVD diamond. This is just normal indoor light. With special lighting, this all becomes even more obvious. CVD diamonds will also sometimes have a strain pattern due to how they are grown. You can see it slightly here on this CVD diamond. If you were to go to the top website below, you can go through and practice looking at lab diamonds to develop the distinguishing eye between CVD and HPHT diamonds. After a while, it does get slightly obvious which is which. Of course, the best way to tell a lab-created diamond versus a natural earth-created diamond is to just look at the diamond certificate and most of the time it is even inscribed on the side of the diamond if it's a lab diamond. So there's that. You see, diamond labs have already done the hard work for you. Every certified diamond comes with one of these certificates. So just look at the certificate and you'll be able to tell which was which. Moving on. On my channel, I have tons of proposal tips and idea videos from how to plan, photograph, and deliver the perfect proposal that she is going to love. Also, watch one of my many how to shop for engagement rings and diamond videos. Or mark my words, they know how to rip you off. The best places to buy diamonds are in the description below to save hundreds to thousands on engagement rings, and they are the best and most reputable places to buy diamond engagement rings. Like, subscribe, and watch another one now.